According to two out of three Americans, this is a man in a monkey suit. A female monkey suit. We'll call him Patty. And here's the man who claims he was the one wearing that very female monkey suit. We'll call him Bob. And while I wouldn't call Bob a liar, his own body ratios are about two, so stick around. This might just be a game changer. <laughs> hey, this thing of thugger. Now, I'm not willing to say Patty here is a Bigfoot, but I am willing to say she's a non-human, ratio-wise. I'll show you what I mean. You, me, all of us humans have at least one thing in common. Our legs are longer than our arms. While chimps, apes, and most other primates, they're the exact opposite. So where does Patty fit in? To explore this further, first I needed to know if there was a normal range for human body ratios. Or does it vary from person to person? So to help illustrate human diversity at extreme levels, we have martial arts and movie superstar Bruce Lee and NBA legend, martial artist and movie star as well, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I'm thinking there's no way these guys share any ratios. And lo and behold, after measuring them, I found that their arms were exactly 20% shorter than their legs. Both of them. So what about Bob? He should match up the same, shouldn't he? And he does. Right on the money, Bob's arms are 20% shorter than his legs, just like the rest of us. The next really big question was, what about Patty Bob here? Because now, even if her arm to leg ratio is different by even a little, that whole man in a monkey suit theory, that thing's gonna start to crumble. And after measuring Patty, I found that her ratios, they're not off by just a little. They're out of the ballpark off. Patty's arms are astonishingly only 5% shorter than her legs. And that puts Patty smack dab right in between humans and other primates. And in case you're keeping score, that's non-human. And we know that. We can see that just by looking at these two side by side. And to make their differences even more painfully obvious, I've dropped in some line here and we see her lined up on Patty's shoulder, her elbow, her wrist and hip area, her knee, her ankle. And looking at Bob, we're lined up on his ankle. And then that is about it. Look at his knee, it's up inches higher, but even more telling, look how high up his hip is compared to Patty's. And look how long his legs are compared to hers. And then looking at her arm, look how long her arm is compared to his. Uh, her wrist is hanging down below this line. And even if Bob's arm was straight down by his side, there's no way his hand would be hanging down below this line. And speaking of the hands, look at his compared to hers. Hers is like a catcher's mitt. That might be two, maybe three of Bob's hands. And then moving up to the elbow, his is, I don't know, five, six inches up higher. And his shoulder is up even higher than that. So now to give you an idea of what Bob's body would have to look like before he fit into this suit. <laughs> and there we see uh, his shoulders finally line up and his elbow and his hand is finally down here where it belongs and his hip is finally way down here and his knees line up. So that is what Bob or any human would look like with Patty's body ratios. And I'm gonna just toggle that on uh, off and on and just let you study that for a little bit. And here we have another famous furry suit, Chewbacca from Star Wars, of course, and the British actor, Peter Mayhew, who played Chewbacca. And I've dropped in some lines here. And we see their shoulders line up, their elbows, their hip areas, their knees. So Peter's body ratios stay the same whether he's in a suit or out. And that makes sense. Of course, it's the same body ratios. So what? 
Is Bob here magic? Is he the only human on the planet that can somehow grossly distort his body just by putting on a monkey suit? That's insane to believe that. And no, Patty wasn't filmed with some weird camera perspective. And no, it sure wasn't CGI. This was filmed way back in 1967. CGI wasn't even on the horizon yet. Her dimensions are that far off from ours. So there you go. It's just one of those things where we've all seen this and stared at this so many times, we just couldn't see the truth anymore. And that simple truth is humans are not built like this, not by a long shot. And you would have to be to fit into this suit. And so now all any of us have to do is measure an arm, measure a leg, then using this formula, we'll be able to see for ourselves if it's at least human or non-human body ratios. As to what that means, I'll let you decide. And for anyone thinking about trying to pull off a hoax now, man, I don't know. I'm thinking body ratios are gonna shut you guys down in a heartbeat. And if you try to modify the suit to make the legs look shorter or the arms look longer or whatever, you're gonna be throwing off body ratios all over the place give up you know ratios are going to win in fact i'm predicting no one will ever fall for a hoax again unless of course they didn't catch this video so now i'm going to leave you guys with a few other magic body morphing men in magical monkey suits and some of you might recognize and i'll include their ratios and now armed with your new info you get to be the judge so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to weigh in.